Hey everyone, this is Michael for Spirit Comics. Welcome to my channel. This is my review of Batman number 50, The Wedding. My channel is only uh, 48 subscribers strong, so I do ask that if you are new, if you have ne not subscribed to my channel before, that you please do so. And also, that you smash that notification bell so you get all notifications of all new uploads so you don't miss any new uploads at all and you please like this video and share it with others so they can enjoy it as well and please do leave your comments below because you know comments and encouragement they do help so let's get into this review this is the cover of Batman number 50 you are you are cordially invited da 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 da, da. Da, 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 da. Okay, now there are various pictures of uh, by different artists all throughout this book. And this is the first one. It's kind of it's kind of boring. It's got Batman's gray and black suit with a bunch of bats behind him. And then here's two from Jim Lee. This is a penciled version of this I personally I like the penciled version better because I think this is really boring and depressing all the blue and black you know, and his hit Batman's ear sticks out like a you know like an elf type ear or something and Selena's Hair is blue mixed with wh white. I mean, come on! I can't, I mean, this is just so such a boring looking picture. Anyway, we get into this, the first part of the story. Batman and Catwoman are fighting a throwaway villain called Kite Man, who. I have no idea what he does. He was the focus of the War of Jokes and Riddles that came out in 2017 in, during Tom King's run here on Batman, and it was super boring. I was like, oh my gosh. When is this going to finish? So Tom K uh, t uh, Kite Man is the most boring villain I've ever he heard of. Why don't we just do it tonight, Batman says. And Catwoman says, okay. You know, in, in, in writing, there is methods of showing emotion a question mark can mean you know a question is being asked or confusion an exclamation mark can mean excitement so if she was excited if if she was excited then there should have been an exclamation mark after okay but this is clearly telling us that she wasn't she says where and when but you know he brings it up and she should have said okay you know let's let's get it on Batman is clearly eager to do this because he's saying here maybe at dawn and he says, you know, that he can get a judge and when that they need two witnesses, he could bring one and so should so could she. And she could and she said she says that's good, or rather that's perfect. There should have been an exclamation mark at the end of perfect, so it would have sounded like or rather that's perfect. But there wasn't. Hell yeah. 
Pac-Man says. And then we get the letters. This starts on the left, a letter from Batman to Catwoman. And the right, a letter from Catwoman to Batman. And I love this picture here on the left. It shows how Catwoman used to look, you know, busty, voluptuous, long, beautiful hair, beautiful, long legs, instead of wrapped in spandex, I mean, or, or, or leather, whatever. Then these two pages are basically, you know, not worth mentioning, but, uh, Batman goes to the Porky's Bar to get Judge Wolfman. And this is kind of interesting here on the other page. In Arkham Asylum, Catwoman breaks in to free Holly Robinson, who's going to be her maid of honor. And she's whispering, I pay, I made some payments. You'll be moved to the 3-7 block along the way. Meow. And, she, and Holly says, We'll get in trouble. We always get in trouble. And your boy will be mad. And he's always mad. Then there comes a guard that lets her out. And then the letter starts. And she and Batman says well, we met her on a boat, and you know, that she was robbing someone. She was dressed as an old woman. Her empathy for the victim made her slow. And Tom King uses this and says another cowardly and suspicious criminal caught, playing on the uh, phrase. A cowardly and suspicious lot. Although I do think this picture here on the left is really good. The showing her long, beautiful hair. And then this one on the right, Catwoman's letter to Batman. She she says we met on the street. And it says and this is where she starts insulting him. You're you're playing the hero. And uh, you're making a damn fool of yourself. I jumped in, tried to stop you from hurting anyone. So Catwoman's making herself out to be the hero from the beginning? That's screwed up. And then more of the story off Robinson Boulevard. Batman is fighting somebody that is not named here. And I'm guessing it might be Egghead. I'm not sure. And uh, he says, you can't win. Don't you know my brother? And uh, there's Alfred saying, your suit is pressed and laid out, sir. Thank you, Alfred. I should be home shortly. And... The guy, the guy in the tux says, hit you and hit you and hit you until... And then, under Arkham Asylum. I'm not sure... I, I, is it the same person? I don't know. It's almost here. I may be weak, but he's... And this is dialogue from Catwoman is... Funny. This is always the problem with escaping from Arkham. No matter what route you take, there's always a crowd. And this one in the prison suit says, hit you and hit you and hit you and hit you. So I have no idea what that was about. Because Tom, King, Tom King's run has been really strange. And back to the letters. Uh, Batman saying, I try to be the detective and to turn details into stories and but then he meets her in her eyes they're not what they should be 
and basically on the Catwoman's letter she tells him the same thing that uh, you know the the eyes are the keys to everyone but she says your eyes are not what they should be then more of the actual story Wayne Manor the West Wing Catwoman sneaks Holly Robinson in blindfolded and she's shocked holy this is his house Selena this is your house and Selena's smiling and then in the East Wing Batman comes in and Alfred's asking you know, when's this when's this gonna happen and Batman says at dawn that uh, Judge Wolfman will be too drunk to remember, to remember what he said and signed. Alfred says, how romantic. And the location? A rooftop in South Gotham. Ah, and if I may, why a rooftop? Alfred says. It's, it's where we were, where we'll always be. Then more of the, the the strange letters. Batman says they're blue, or they start as blue. Their their eyes, their origin is in them. And then he goes on, says uh, some they they ha they suddenly have sparks of yellow, and then. Up close, there's no rest there. It's a war of colors, not a war of dance. And her letter is equally as odd, saying blue eyes are never blue. A spark of white or yellow, a hint of green. There's always a few here and there white slivers of white and it's just strange then in the uh, Inglehart bedroom Holly is being her bridesmaid you know making the final trimmings on her dress and Catwoman looks beautiful and over in the Conway bedroom this exchange between Alfred and Bruce is just great I mean it, it's the probably the best part of the whole story which is not saying a lot for Tom King given that this was a very big issue Bruce says, I hate these things. It's perf it is perfectly appropriate, Alfred says. It's too tight. How can I move? Alfred says, every night you wear a molded leather bat suit as you perform feats of astonishment. You'll be fine. This is Bruce getting cold feet. It's just, I don't know. I look like my father. Oh, Master Bruce. You most certainly do. And look at that smile on Alfred's face. That's a smile of pride, like a father. Because Alfred has sort of been a father to him. And then back to the letters. I fight with my eyes covered, white slits on a black mask. The criminals, strangers, all the people I have to help, I don't want them to see me. And he says, I want to be the bat, not the man. But when, but you, when you're out there, swaying through Gotham in all your costumes, I could always see your eyes. And in Catwoman's letter, she gets even more Oh, I can't think of the 
Not a good word. Well, mean. I let them see my eyes. I dare them to look. As I surprise them, kick them, steal from them. As I prove I am their master, no one is my master. I want them to know me, to look right at the cat Gotham tried to put down and understand that she's still here. Okay. But you, those blues, all those years on all those rooftops, I never saw your eyes. See, that's the difference. Batman could always see her eyes, but she could never see his. Or maybe she didn't want to. Who knows? And this is a splash page in, in Fox Hall. They, Catwoman walking out from the left, Batman from the right. They see each other and embrace and kiss. It's a be beautiful splash page there. Beautiful. Then uh, back to the the letters. I know why you let them look. They glance, see the green. Batman is infatuated with the green in her eyes. And it says they won't ever put you down. But they know you. But they. But uh, no, they're all detectives. They think they know something deep, profound. But they don't know a da damn thing, do they? And then her letter. Those little white slits tell them everything. Here is a man it's impossible to understand. A man of pure anger. A bat. An animal. The Dark Knight. The Cape Crusader. The world's greatest detective. And then she's almost praising him. And because he's better than us, He'll always be here. As each night returns, so shall the bat forever, and forever we shall be saved. Then, in the Englehart bedroom, Holly is talking about how she can't believe what's happened. And this is the first hint we get and there was a hint outside of this issue but I, I can go into that now in a different video she uh, said she says it's insanity isn't it Selena you know we've known him from the beginning I just never I don't know I can't believe he's like this he's never been like this like what she says happy He's always seemed to need his misery, you know? Like it was how he did what he did. So, so she's so Holly is saying here, or rather Tom King is saying, that Batman needs his misery in order to be Batman. Which is a bunch of bull. Now on the opposite page, in the Conway bedroom. We have a really wonderful scene with some good dialogue, but also some problems. Alfred is asking about the witnesses. Should he call Nightwing or Superman? And Bruce is saying no, no, that he would like it to be Alfred if he's free because he's always been with him since the beginning you know since his parents were killed and Alfred just looks at him and sits down next to him and hugs him but why in the world is he looking at the freaking cell phone 
at the same time. Now here is a, the problem. I would think that everybody who was involved with this whole event, the, we the wedding, would have talked to each other about what they were writing. Because in Batman Prelude to the Wedding, Nightwing vs. Hush, number one, there's a scene at the end of the book where Superman leaves Wayne Manor with the rings because he's going to be the best man. Because Nightwing, Nightwing asks, is Clark your be the best man? And Batman says yes. That he is. He did he did, it did really didn't want to make that kind of choice, but it's just it's part of the whole tradition. But see that doesn't make sense. You know, why would Tom King write Alfred as the best man when Tim Seeley already wrote Superman as the best man? in this and the other comic which came out before 50 that doesn't make any sense in fact this whole book doesn't make much sense the letter continues your eyes are not one thing and you know this is Batman basically saying how she's something that can't be solved and this is a Catwoman saying how you know, her, her, how he's, his eyes are something that uh, reveal him fully, but not, but not the fu the flawed hero. Why does every hero have to be, have to be flawed? But the boy in pain, the boy longing not to be alone the plea of please someone help me just be there be here with me and no one comes and you head out into the night and so it's you know and she says you look upon the world with the eyes of a child you your blue is pure and perfect and desolate Almost like Tom King's insulting Batman while saying something nice that saying something nice at the same time. But then on the you know the way to the, the wedding at dawn, Holly is driving Catwoman on O'Neill Avenue, and. They basically, uh, she basically tells Holly that she wrote a letter to Bruce, but didn't actually get to finish it, and asks her if she's a hero, and Holly's like, of course you are, and then on the Wayne Expressway, Bruce says the same, that he wrote a letter to Selena because he wanted to tell her everything and then he asked Alfred can I be happy and Alfred says the same after all he's after all he's endured doesn't he have to be and then there's more of the letter this is where it gets really bad and, Bat and Batman says, What you show me, what your eyes show me, something I've never understood, at least since the pearls. They are mysterious. They can't be solved. And he ba basically praises her. Batman thanks the world of Catwoman. 
and he and he says that uh, I can move beyond that trap. You know, he's the trap of him being being someone who's defined by the pain of his the loss of his parents. That simplification, that suicide, that pain. Maybe I can be someone undefined. I can be the man who looks into your eyes, who sees beyond the green. The man who knows you, who will always try to know you better. The man who loves you, who will always try to love you better. Oh my gosh, that, for for that page, that is some good dialogue. But then we go downhill with uh, Catwoman's letter. When she, you know, basically insults him again. You're still a child, Bruce. A hurt, a hurt child. And she says, you are an engine that turns pain into hope. And down here is where it really I, I it, it just it, it's heartbreaking if we're happy and we could be so happy if I help that lonely boy with the lonely eyes I kill that engine I kill Batman I kill the person who saves everyone and how can I do that how can I love you so much and look in your eyes into that endless blue that gorgeous blue that blue that calls me knowing to save the world heroes make sacrifices that the lesson of every story I wish I could give my life but I can't I have to give more my sacrifice is my love it's you that's where my mom realized when I was reading this to her that the story was going to go downhill and it did because now it's dawn Catwoman's at Kane Plaza Batman's at Finger Tower and you can see the expression on Catwoman's face at least I hope you can That's, I would call that an expression of sadness. Then she sees this email. I don't know where she saw it from. Because I don't think she was wearing anything on her wrist. I don't know, wh I don't know where this screen came from. I don't think she actually saw a screen. I think this was at, at her home. Because if you notice, the envelope which has bat on it is leaning up is leaning up against something, so it's not there with her. And she looks out and into the into the night sky, and she takes off her veil, throws it down, and she leaps from the building. Then Batman does the same, and there's a letter from her on his bed although I've got to wonder love always from and that's a very nice picture it's a very good picture with all my love bat cat now something I've got to wonder If at this point she would never come back to Wayne Manor, then how would she ever read this letter? Because 
if this letter was indeed left for her at Wayne Manor. That that that's a plot hole that you know I don't understand. I don't I don't understand that at all. Unless Batman decided to leave it at her one of her old apartments or something. I don't know. I wonder where this is because it couldn't be at Wayne Manor. She left him, so she would not go back to Wayne Manor. And then it ends with a whole lot of strange crap. Holly Robinson is back at Arkham Asylum and she's narrating here in the yellow. She brought me back, locked me up, then she left alone. She's devastated but determined as you said she'd be. I don't know about him. We left before I, I didn't see what he was. Do not worry, I know. He is what I have made him. The bat is broken. Now this makes no sense here. From left to right, Riddler, Joker, I have no idea who that is. Bane, Gotham Girl, what is she doing at Arkham? She's a hero. The vent ventriloquist. Another Batman in Arkham? Who's that? Dr. Hugo Strange? This issue not only disappointed me and many other fans of Batman of the who were hoping for this wedding, but it left a lot of clues. I mean, not, not clues, but questions in my mind. Like, what the heck is going on? And I've heard it said that uh, Tom King says the story is not yet finished. And he's in it for a hundred issues. So, that means that this is going to be resolved somewhere along the way. From 51 to 100. Well, I am not going to be following Batman while he's on the book because I'm just I'm not this was a bait and switch and I am not going to be tricked again by Tom King because he was the one who wrote this he's responsible I do not recommend that you buy this at all yeah it had some nice art but that does not outweigh the bad story this was horrible this was pathetic so that's it for me I wish I could have been more positive for a review but I, could, I, I can't because I like to give good reviews when I can but sometimes I just have to give I, I, I I have to be honest, you know. I do. Don't buy this book. Don't buy it digitally. Don't go to the comic shop, comic shop and buy it, because you'll be just you'll be wasting your money. I'm Michael for Spirit Comics. Please do subscribe to my channel if you're new, and smash that notification bell so you won't miss any new uploads. Please do like this video and share it with others. And please do leave your comments down below. Thank you for watching this review. I'm sorry that I couldn't have been more positive than I was. There were some good aspects to the book, but overall, no. Till next time, true readers.